recording. <laughs> Is this thing on? Yes. <coughs> Greenwich Township Committee, close out meeting December 30th, 2015. Members present, Kenyuk. Here. Marquetta. Here. Larceny. Here. Spencer. Here. Adams absent. Adequate notice of this meeting was given in accordance with the Open Public Meeting Act by mailing the schedule of the Township Committee to the Express Times and North Star Ledger newspaper, posting a copy on the Township Bulletin Board and filing a copy with the Township Clerk. Motion to go into executive session regarding potential pending litigation November <coughs> Township. Make a motion. Second. Kenya? Yes. Marquetta? Yes. Larceny? Yes. Spencer? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, motion to come out of executive session and reopen the meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Greenwich Township Committee regular uh, meeting closeouts. Members present, Kenya? Here. Marquetta? Here. Larceny? Here. Spencer? Here. I'll rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance and to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, well, we have a couple things that need to need a motion. This is Bob's item, number one. Oh, yeah. We need to uh, decommission the Teamsters Local Union because there's only one person left, and we have to have more than one. And I think in the meantime, they're taking dues from the guy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I make a motion that we decommission Teamsters Local uh, 469 uh, as a union representing DPW workers in uh, Greenwich. Second. Kenya? Yes. Marquetta? Yes. Larceny? Yes. Spencer? Yes. Okay, now we need a motion. Um, <coughs> Joe Mexi um, needs to send this into the county. It's the Warren County and all municipalities has a mitigation plan update. It's the Jors jurisdictional annex review sign off sheet. Um, it says James Adams mayor and since he has got other plans, um, we need to get this signed off for the year. So we're gonna need a motion <coughs> authorizing uh, Deputy Mayor Spencer to sign this has a mitigation plan update sheet. Make the motion. Second. Kenya? Yes. Marquetta? Yes. Larceny? Yes. Spencer? Yes. <coughs> okay, these are Kathleen's. <laughs> as pretty as they look. <laughs> yeah. So the, there's two transfer resolutions. Do they have copies? Yeah. Okay, so what I gave you, I was working on these right up until pretty much we started the meeting to try to cover the over expenditures. So I gave you. Uh, the accounts from the current fund that the money has to be put into, it totals 189, 294.83. I didn't list all the accounts I'm taking it from. I'm going to be giving that to Kim because it's pretty much coming from all of the remaining accounts. It's just too numerous. It became too numerous to list tonight. Um, so I can give you, you know, the final cleaned up version of that probably over the weekend. And then sewer. Uh, it's basically just a flip-flop. Uh, you're under in the contractual with the town of Phillipsburg of 49700 and you still have sewer operating OE. So I'm just um, taking it from one to the other there. And again, that will get cleaned up. So we just need a motion to approve resolution uh, 82. I'll make the motion. Second. <coughs> 
Uh, before we vote, Kim, where's yes. or, or Kathleen, what's the surplus that we have left over? We're going. We're going into 2016 without a surplus. Correct. Okay. From the 15 budget, that's correct. There's nothing left. I, when I left here at the last meeting, I thought it was going to be close. Then. I inputted the transfer resolution at that time. I started to make some closeout entries. I started to go back through, um, still playing catch up, and realized that we were very overexpended in uh, PD and DPW and health insurance um, line items. So I've been working the last you know, with a week, week and a half since we met on where I could come up with that money to try to avoid a, a huge overexpenditure would really, which would really put you back for next year. So, after looking at your 2000 appropriate, 2014 appropriated reserves, I realized some things uh, were charged to 15 that could have been charged back to 14. Adjusted some of that. Um, there were about $40,000 of uh, sewer attorney fees that were actually charged to the regular budget. So I adjusted that. Um, I did that with the thought that we can try to make that money up in sewer going forward because uh, we did a partial payment tonight uh, to Phillips, Phillipsburg. So that remaining amount will have to be budgeted in the upcoming budget. But that pretty much, by doing all of those things, I thought it was the best thing to do to try to avoid an overexpenditure. But all that being said, we're still next year not going into a very good position. Streets and roads is short seventy eight thousand. There's no way that could be overtime for two million. Did they short the, the, the salaries themselves? So the same with the police, or is that overtime with the police? To me, when I look back at what I was given when I first started here, it just looked to me that those the base salaries and the overtime were both shorted meaning not budgeted properly or, or not anticipated properly. How, how bad were we over? Was the, was the police and road crew before I believe you police, I have a note here from the auditor, um, they anticipated a base pay of 821000 with overtime of about 50000 That was way, 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 way low. In, in well, I'm not worried. Overtime, we, we wouldn't know, but we knew where's 821,000 we we're contractually going to pay unless somebody left. How much did we budget for the 821? The, I only had the total number because I wasn't here. We I don't budgeted know. 821. They budgeted 821 plus the 53,000. Do you have to know how much we we knew we should have had? I mean. We spent, let's if you see. have somebody making fifty-two thousand a year, you can't budget forty. But if you know you're going to be paying them fifty-two thousand, that doesn't make sense. So the entire <coughs> budget was eight seventy-four five hundred, and we spent nine hundred ninety-two thousand. That's with overtime. Yep. And how much was budgeted in two thousand thirteen? No, for, uh, fourteen. About fourteen. Yeah, that was my next question. In two thousand. 13 or 14? 14. 14, 946,000. So, so it dropped from 946 to 874. What was the overtime budget for 14? That I don't know. With the same amount of officers from the 12 years. To, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I wasn't here. Yes. What, what were you saying with the, the clerk salary and what was budgeted for the clerk salary position was 10,000 less than or something like that? For Kim's stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was. First of all, she wasn't paid properly in 2014. Uh, there was, what, a few hundred dollar difference mm -hmm. for that uh, COA stipend, so we got that caught up and corrected. Um, that was the only thing, though, right? Yeah, that's it. Yes, yeah, so, so that was fine. That's it. Um, the other thing that was not done was there was a police study apparently done for $15,000 and a road study for about $15,000. It didn't come out of police salary and wages, though. Came out of admin, O and A, and maybe this is what Will's getting at yeah, with the administrative. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm talking strictly the salary and wages for those two departments. I don't see how 
the seventy thousand they could be off by eighty thousand dollars each. I don't know. I mean, it's hard for me because I wasn't here for the formulation of it, so I don't know. Well, they buy you fifty thousand for overtime one year, fifty thousand for the previous year. So what was the overtime? What was the well, what I'm saying is that this looks like it's what you knew contractually you're going right to pay. So how do you know going knowing you're going to pay somebody X amount of well, dollars amount and budget less than the, that? Like, yeah, yeah, let's just budget. say I make sixty thousand dollars. <throat> He, they, he only put in 54000 in the line item. That's the right. other yeah, money yeah. was to be used and taken out of clean communities, recycling, sewer, yeah. and all these other pockets. Yeah. Yeah. I was, there were notes that said that I was to take things from grants, older grants. I don't think that's appropriate to do. Um, if, if the auditor can show me differently, I'm more than happy to do that. <coughs> But I don't think you can just charge salaries off to a grant because it's just sitting there. Are we at the point now where will the auditor, do you have communications with the auditor at this time? Or I do not. He won't respond back to you at all, the Wilbur or anything? Um, the, my last communication with him was regarding the grants. I said to him basically the same thing I just said here, that I was uncomfortable. I sent him the law and asked you know, for his advice, and I haven't received anything. So basically, just throw up your hands and go with what you got. Yeah, I mean, I spoke with other CFOs. I did. I mean, I have a network of other right. finance professionals, and you know, ran it by them, and you know, they said the same thing. How can you take money, grant money that's been sitting there for years? If if the state came in and audited this year, they would say, well, "What did you do that for?" And I can't just throw up my hands and go, "Well, I was told to do that." I don't know. And then you're held responsible for it. Sure. So basically, a budget that was prepared for last year was way under budgeted as to what they were trying I to do. I believe so, yes. As far as uh, Mr. Barsony with the roads, I, I believe that the thought process was that all of this work was going to get done with roads O and E and salaries. And if you knew all these projects were going to get done, it doesn't seem like the budget was there to support it. So the money wasn't appropriated for it. The thirty-one thousand five fifty-four for insurance. Why are we over budgeted there? You know, we that get our the, premiums in the beginning of the year. We should pretty <coughs> much know. You guys pay, I guess, the uh, rescue squad and the fire. It, it was charged to that line item rather than they have their own separate lines. Okay. But I took money in the last transfer from those lines to cover other over expenditures. Okay. So basically we're gonna close the year out at zero. Nothing left, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but we're at zero and it's not going to be checking zero. out instead what of What was minus. the surplus in line? At the end of last year. I was just about to say I was checking that out before I came in here. Your fund balance at December 31st, 2013 was 940000 uh, December 31, 2014 was 710 So it did, you know, you're decreasing now. You're on the decline. So what I'm stressing to you is being that we're in this situation, I really think that we need to be really, really careful going into the 16 budget. <coughs> I just don't understand how, if you knew these payments were coming, the salaries and stuff like that, it wasn't budgeted properly. Like, how was this budget prepared? I've I think we got to wait for Jim. To come I've back asked and a lot of questions. Yeah. I mean, none of us yeah. up here can answer this. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like we're good faith separate or might. No. And then when you, that? No, I, I emailed, uh, again, uh, Jim being the mayor, Mr. Adams, I emailed him and included the auditor and because Again, it's frustrating not being part of the process. So I said, well, you know, what was the logic? And I'm just not really getting a lot of answers. Yeah, how can we pull from grants that's not legal to cover funds that's supposed to be budgeted? Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was, and it makes sense. The overtime shot way up once um, Mr. Hummer was let go because now you're covering for a man yeah, sure. down, basically. So I don't, was that factored in? I don't know. And the budget that was prepared for fifty thousand dollars for police at <coughs> time in the previous year was six figures. Yeah, it was more than fifty thousand. I mean, overtime can always 
change. But I don't know how you do Oh, yeah, and that, that's what budget. I was getting at before, the 15000 for the, um, what was what would you call it? The, the study. The blue line. Blue line consulting for the police study. And then that road study, apparently a resolution was supposed to be done to take those items out of a capital account. That resolution never got done. So, so that now there's another 30000 in your regular budget I had to find. And the resolution was done. It wasn't in capital. No. Yeah, the resolution was done. He'd be able to take it capital. And legal OE, I mean, that, a lot of legal bills, tons of legal bills. Do you have a figure on our Excuse total me. legal bill? Let us finish first, please. Mm. Oh, budgeted 160, put another 30 grand into it, so 190. So basically, we were thirty thousand over what they budgeted. Mm -hmm. So one hundred and ninety. What was the previous year's legal? <coughs> budgeted one sixty. It was kept flat. And what was it? You know, you oh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, actually, paid. Peter. Charles. Actually, I think it was like 400 because uh, I think the auditor last time he was here said that legal fees were cut by 51%, which sounds great, but when you're going from half a million to a quarter of a million, it <laughs> doesn't sound as good. Well, according to the your 15 budget, which includes the 14 numbers, 160 was budgeted and 132 was spent. And 14? Yes. And then again, like with the health insurance, the what was in, in the finance software did not match what was in the audit. So according to the Edmonds system, there was no money left in health insurance at 2014. According to the audit, there was like 40-some thousand left. So I, I went with the audit number because that's what went to the state. So I was able to bring in another 40,000 to cover the over expenditures. So which is correct, we how, go with the audit. Yeah, how, how is that system different than the audit number? Either entries weren't made or... Are well, we asking well, you well, questions well. that you're probably going to do the next uh, line item anyway, your, your report? <laughs> oh, I don't know, but... So for simplicity, you. We have a motion out there, too. Oh, okay. yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. We uh, one, one last question here. The, uh, the $130,000 that the auditor talked about? Yeah, unallocated. Is that still hanging out there somewhere? Yes. All right, so that we can, that's kind of like a surplus. Like a pocket money right now. It's sitting in what we call miscellaneous revenue right now because it hasn't been identified. If it sits there this year, it will end up going to surplus. Okay. Um, there was a note that the police O&E was overexpended. Well, a after talking to... Deputy Chief Skelton. Yeah, yeah. Um, apparently, uh, and you guys probably know about this, the Cody system, that was never paid for in 2014. So I had to pay for that in 2015 to get that caught up. But, and we had no choice. We had to do it. Otherwise, I, I don't know what that does, but they well, wouldn't have been able to operate. It's a, it's system, a computer assistance it's a program that the police uses. How much was that, it? That that that's that's from a contract that was probably signed four years ago. Yes. How yeah. much was it? Fourteen or 15000 I think. Yeah. A lot of car repairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. But which I mean, isn't their fault. I know that's a while ago when they did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is never budgeted for the payment. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Um, the police cars, 90 was budgeted, but again, after talking with Jerry, they, you know, it's, it's obviously expensive to, what I say, outfit these cars. I mean, I can't tell them, no, okay, have a car and then don't get what it needs. And that was only 3000 over anyway, so that was fine, but, I mean, I can't say go, go drive a car and then it doesn't have the equipment in it that they need. So well, if something's on for scene, it doesn't bother me as much as right. if... If we know you have salaries and you know what the salaries for the year are going to be, how do you budget less than what the salaries were? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The police, I have no explanation <clears throat> for. DPW, all I'm being told is that to use grant money, 
and that there's all the, these accounts that, that they thought they had money tucked into that I could tap into. But I've, I've looked at this over and over and over again. I've tapped every account I can. Being that you're here now. Legally. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're here now with getting everything organized. We should be in a better position down the road because now we know exactly what. Going on. That's the plan. Um, I know this is information you probably don't want to hear. Um, I don't like putting you in a position in going into 16 saying, wow, you know, we really need to try to be frugal. And, but at this point, until the auditor gets in here and we really hopefully find that unallocated money and stop these over expenditures and get the audit matched up with the finance software, you know, all these things need to come together. For this to work. What, what's the thing with the admin system that we have? I mean, once we find out with the budget and the system, is this something that that the admin system and the budget will be correct on? Like yes. Now our records are going to be yes. Yep. Online. We know absolutely day to day mm -hmm. rather than yep. forty one and zero and the other. So the bottom line is this, this resolution for the, the transfers, mm -hmm. one hundred eighty nine thousand. We really have no choice to do it other to, to legally finish the year. Correct? Yeah. I so mean. You could sit there and tell me, you know, don't do that. Let's let's have let's leave twenty or thirty thousand as an over expenditure. I don't want you to do that. No, no, I don't see a I point in doing that. Well, I mean, we have to roll call now. Yeah, roll call. Is there a second? Frank made the motion. Bob seconded. Okay. Ready? Kenya. Yes. Marquetta. Yes. Larson. Yes. And Spencer. Yes. Okay, now we have the sewer on. We have to do so. I'll make that motion. Second. Kenya? Yes. Marquetta? Yes. Orsney? Yes. Spencer? Yes. Okay, you want to give a financial report? From sewer? Really on anything. Questions. You're up, number five. <laughs> I thought I just did it. <laughs> well, on a, I'll end on a good note. Your, 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 su your sewer so surplus is, is rising, <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> yeah, let's not tap into it, though. Yeah. As in previous administration. I'm not one yeah, to do that. I see other towns do it, and I understand, you know, that wanting to keep taxes low, and, and I'm all for that, of course. Um, I would rather do everything we can within the current fund budget to keep the taxes low and leave the sewer users, you know, that's their budget. Right, it's one thing it's to tax on them if you take yes. it. So what's the difference? I mean, you know, it's not mm -hmm. fair to tax the people who have sewer that cover expenses. Right. right. Okay, we have one item here that we didn't do, and that's uh, authorizing her to write the check to Holzberg for the sewer payment in the amount of one hundred and twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Motion. motion. Second. Second. Kenya? Yes. Marquetta? Yes. Larsney? Yes. Spencer? Yes. Okay. Have any other items? Okay. Did you public want to go to the executive? Public comment. Public comment. Motion to go I'll make a motion for public comment. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Anybody look back to the... Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> Anybody have anything? <laughs> <laughs> Any year else? I personally think you guys are set up. Yeah. I don't think they had any intentions of finishing out the year, and I think they said. Come on up. Let's go up real quick, yeah. <laughs> Every Hill, 529 North Main Street, Stewart. Um, I think it was. Budget woes were a direct setup by previous committee members, Gloria and Toriello um, and Adams. I think he drank from the same well, and I don't think they had any, those two especially had no intentions of finishing out the year from the get-go. Uh, and they they pushed a budget that would allow people to get elected or keep them in the office. I don't think they, they had no intentions of, of seeing that budget. Um, and I, I think they 
if they set up an incoming uh, committee group for the bag of crap, to be honest with you. And I still think that with all the legal woes that we have and those bills that we can't get those guys to look into a little bit further to see if there was not criminal charges that are possible against some of those guys. Because I really think they willfully disregarded the best interest of this township in order to, to take care of themselves. So I really think we need to look at going after those members that they've had. If they can be proven, then that's going to be good for them. But I, I think from just a little comment for you, is I think we're all we're going to work together this year to try to turn this whole thing around. I mean, stop the clock and let's go forward now with what we're doing. And if the CFO has a zero, better than a negative. So let's try to build from there. Um, we got some changes coming. And I'm sure with our new CFO, Kathleen, I mean, from when we spoke to her the first time around a couple, couple weeks ago, you would have been shocked with the numbers. And if it's down to this amount, it's zero. It's a lot better than what it was when she started. So she is working hard at trying to do the best interest of the town. And with the changes that hopefully we have for next year with different items that we have, uh, we're just going to do the best. And, you know, I'd rather start at zero than a negative number with everything. So, thanks for coming up. Anybody else? Okay. I'm usually pretty quiet at this end, but I just have one quick question. Chuck yourself. In the paper, it stated that you guys are going to have a final vote on the civilian police director. Oh, oh, thank you, Chuck. Thanks, Chuck. Yeah, second reading. Yeah. Second reading. Second reading of that meeting. ordinance. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's been advertised. We got it all That's in there. Chuck. I okay. You want to get a resolution out? Yeah. Okay. I've been so nervous about just the just money issue for the past oh, week. Yeah, we were filling oh, for money. <laughs> Anybody else from the? Uh, Thanks, Chuck. From the audience. <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time. Right? Like I said to you before, one step at a time will be the motion to get out of the the motion to get out of public comment. Oh. Give me that motion now, right? We'll wait for her. She's got a requirement on the first and second. Six was uh, published. Well, okay, I make a motion to come out of public comment. We can do that. Oh, okay. Second. Opposed? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Now, this ordinance was published in full, and it was scheduled for public hearing for tonight. Um, so, you're going to make a motion to um, open the meeting for public comment regarding this ordinance. We're going to open, close, and adopt. I make a motion that we open for public comment for this second. Meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye.
This is public. Does anybody want to comment on this ordinance? Anybody want to comment on this ordinance that we're repealing? The police director. Anybody have any comments to about repealing it? <coughs> taking it. Okay. All right, so there's, yes, make a motion to close. Make a motion to close. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and now a motion to adopt Ordinance 2015-06, an ordinance to repeal Ordinance 2015-05 entitled an ordinance regarding the creation of the position of police director for the Township of Greenwich Township Police Department. I'll make so that motion. Second. <coughs> made it. We'll second it. Kenya? Yes. Marquetta? Abstain. Yes. Varsity? Spencer? Yes. Okay. okay, so we did that. Good job. Right, we have no other items now on the agenda. Yeah, we're back in public comment, right? Uh, no, we well, we're in public. We, we, we already did public comment. No, no, so if you guys want to go back in executive, we have nothing else on the agenda. Do you want to discuss anything about the appointments? On the first? An executive, or do you want to <coughs> adjourn? No, I think it's wrong over here. Want to go back so, in executive? I thought you had something to go in executive. No, I just want to know if anybody wanted to discuss yeah. anything. No. Frank wants to go? Yeah. Okay, so have to go in executive session. Okay, motion to go in executive session regarding contract negotiations. I'll make the motion. Second. Kenyak? Yes. Marquetta? Yes. Varsity? Yes. Spencer? Yes. Okay. Are you going to turn off the PA system? Huh? You got to kill the PA. So I don't need this, Kim. You're going to have new ones on Friday. Okay, we're going to be in the packet mat. We'll be in the packet mat. Yeah, all done. Please, let's not read every resolution on Friday. Hey, um... Whatever. Whatever. And we can have discussion on we can pull a bit No, ones. you don't have to pull them. Well, we can okay. have discussion on any. Well, when I go to do the roll call, someone right. can make a statement. Okay. Well, question. before the roll because call. Because it's not like a resolution. Or it is. Then, yes. It, I don't know if it. We need a motion, motion to come out. Motion to come out of executive I'll make that session motion. and reopen the meeting to the public. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, again. Call in favor. Aye. Huh? Aye. 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 I thought we had a motion in public to come out of executive session. We just we, did. We, we just did. Yeah. yeah, we did. Motion to come out of executive no session. Re there There's no one out there. Oh, just no. open the door and reopen the meeting to the public. The okay. PA system. Oh, we got left. Okay. There's there's nothing else nothing on left. the agenda. Okay. Then yeah, make a motion to close. Wait, hold on, I just got one quick question. Well, no, I can ask this afterwards. I um, with with the resolution of appointments, is there one on there about it, with the computer? One be on there? No, and he has a three year contract. I'll talk with you about that. Okay. I confirmed. Right. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So, will you need a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. 11, uh, 11, 11 o'clock Friday.